Hello, welcome to my photo studio and to ProPhotoLife.com. In this video, we're going to look at a simple lighting setup using elements that you can make yourself. It's not expensive photographic equipment at all. Uh, the basis of a good studio setup are a pair of saw horses. We have many in our studio. It allows us the versatility of setting up a tabletop anywhere we need it. I've put a laminated top on the saw horses. And I've just grabbed a stick and a can. We use these for light stands a lot. They're just paint cans or coffee cans filled with concrete with a one by two stick put in them. We make them ourselves. They're anywhere from five or six inches high up to eight feet high. For lighting, we're just going to use a very inexpensive pan light that you would buy at a hardware store. And I'm attaching it, making it a little more firm with an A-clamp. Again, just another dollar item from the hardware store. I've looped the electric cord over the A-clamp so it doesn't put any undue pressure on the light. If the cord were to get kicked or pulled, it's not going to damage it where it goes into the uh, light. We're also uh, going to use an acetate screen and another A-clamp is going to hold that onto the tabletop. Again, it's just an inexpensive clamp light and acetate screen that's attached to a 1x2 frame that we made. I've got a piece of foam core from the local craft store. Uh, we buy it in quantity, big 4x8 sheets. And I'm putting that on the tabletop with another stick in a can with another A-clamp. So you can see we've got about a 5-foot stick in a can and a, about a 1-foot one, one. And we're going to photograph a camera today. It's a cliche, but it's going to be a great illustration. So I'm starting with just the hard light, just to show you what we might expect to get if we take this pan light and we shine it onto the camera. I hear amateurs often talk about being unable to control shadows. So we can see it's very contrasty. There's no detail on the shadow side, uh, just not a very good photograph. Once we introduce the screen and we diffuse the light, and really what it's doing, it's making the light larger. It's spreading the light over a larger area, and it's reflecting into the camera. Now you can see we have much nicer highlights on the uh, lit side of the camera. The shadow side has even begun to fill in a bit. Now we're really going to bring it to life by reflecting more light into the shadow side. So you can see here, I'm going to put the light into it, and we're getting nice highlights all around the camera. It's really, really starting to glow. So we've got a great looking product photograph now. To recap, here's where we started with super contrasty light, just the pan light by itself. We introduced the screen to diffuse the light. It's working just as a softbox would. And then we've added the card to fill in. Again, just a great looking photograph. I hope these lighting tips are a help. For more information, please visit my website, ProPhotoLife.com, and let me know what else you'd like to see.